Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another weekly analysis re review. Uh, we have an interesting week up ahead with FOMC on Wednesday and Bank of England meeting on Thursday. Uh, let's start off with the dollar index. We saw um, buyers strongly push the price above this choppy rangey action and eventually settled above this 97, um, 97.15 um, support level here. Um, if price stays in this sort of zone then uh, look for a potential uh, further push up to the upside euro dollar we saw uh, strong selling going into the ECB meeting um, seen a bit of a bounce but price eventually settled below this 1.180 ceiling level here um, if it stays in this zone then I'll look for uh, intraday sell setups um, uh, but I will try and avoid trading this pair until after FOMC. Pound, um, another disappointing week uh, for this pair. Um, so buyers try to push uh, the price higher uh, above this 1.2520 level before sellers muscles back in. Seasonal wise, August is the weakest month for pound. Uh, so we still need to take that into account, even though price is very low in the daily and the weekly charts. Uh, what we could see early this week is uh, possibly another move back up to this upper trend line here before a strong move down. Next up is Aussie dollar. Uh, we saw strong selling last week, uh, which fits in well with the seasonal bearish period. Um, I'll be looking for um, um, intraday sell setups this week. Uh, for you daily traders out there, just uh, be a bit more patient. Uh, we could see a further push down, a retest, and then a, another move down. New Zealand dollar, similar set, um, price action to Aussie dollar, same uh, seasonal bearish period. Uh, uh, again, looking for those uh, one hour, four hour core sell setups this week. Uh, we could see a move all the way down to this previous daily low and monthly pivot, and could see a bounce lower high, and then uh, move uh, down again or we could just simply see a break of the level retest and then start a phase one again dollar cad buyers have pushed the price slowly back up to this yearly pivot level of 1.3180 uh, we are in a weekly phase two uh, cad tends to be quite choppy in august um, no sort of clear direction um, if it stays below this yearly pivot, then I'll, I'll, I'll look for um, uh, sell uh, setups. Um, but there are um, better opportunities than some of the cat crosses that we'll see um, in a bit. Um, so at, for now, this chart is low on my uh, my list um, this week. Dollar Swiss, we saw um, price break out of this falling wedge, retest, and then a move up. On the daily, we are looking at a potential inverted head and shoulders pattern. Um, and if price breaks this ceiling level here, then look for the first retest uh, to buy. Dollar yen, uh, daily in no trend, in a range. Um, we are in a weekly phase two. Um, yen is, um, is is quite strong in August, or it, it is a good month, in, uh, good month for for yen. Um, what we could see early this week is is last sort of push up to this uh, upper channel here, 109.5 level before a strong move down. Euro Aussie, we saw price bounce off this weekly trend line. We are in a daily phase two, uh, looking like a strong phase two. Um, if price stays above this 1.6030 level, then look for a bounce of the 20, of the 54 hour, and then another move to the upside. Uh, Euro Kiwi, if I zoom out of the chart, we can see price has bounced off this long term trend line, dropped down to the four hour. Uh, we see a shallow pullback bounce off these moving averages to 20 and the 50 of the four hour uh, price staying above the 1.6705 level then we could see another new 
move to the upside. Aussie yen price has broken the daily trend line. Uh, so I'll be looking for intraday sell setups this week, similar to Aussie dollar. Um, if I just drop to the one hour, you could see we can see the first sell trade was this initial move down, break of the daily trend line, shallow phase two, and then phase one again. Um, for our traders, there is another nice opportunity, phase one, then a phase two move down, oh, sorry, a phase two move up to this 20 moving average, and, and then another move to the downside. New Zealand Yen, same approach, uh, price has broken this daily trend line, so look for those one hour, four hour core sell setups this week. Um, Aussie CAD, same price, um, break below uh, this support level here, very strong selling. Look Again, look for those intraday sell setups. New Zealand CAD, same approach, broke this um, support level here. Um, and and look for those one hour, four hour sell setups this week. Um, Aussie Swiss, if currently on support level here, but if price breaks, then look for the first retest uh, to sell. And New Zealand Swiss, um, look for intraday sell setups all the way down to the support region here. Um, we could see a shallow phase two on the daily before another move down, or we could see break retest of that level and then a phase one move down um, last chart I want to look at was euro pound um, we saw this head and shoulders movement um, last week price pushed below the, this neckline level here um, and what we were anticipating for a retest of this level before another phase one move down on the four hour um, price has broke uh, broken above again above the neckline level here so uh, what I would um, uh, do is just wait to see if price does make another move down look for the first retest and then um, uh, look for a sell setup off the neckline um, area. Okay, that is it for me. Um, hope you have a good week and happy and safe trading.